This video is to show you how to install LED lights on your front turn signals and how to install resistors so you won't get any hyper flash on your 2012 Hyundai Sonata. So for this job I'm going to be using a voltmeter, a small Phillips screwdriver and a regular size screwdriver, a ratchet with a long extension, small 10 millimeter socket, 12 millimeter socket, drill with a small drill bit, a resistor with the scotch locks, wire stripper, some pliers, thermal paste, and some electric tape. This is the tools I'm going to be using, but maybe in your case you won't need all of them. It will be up to you. We're going to be working on the driver's side, and the first thing we're going to do is install our LED bulb. And to show you the location of that, I'm going to show you through the hood. And where you guys know exactly where it's at. Okay, this right here, this is the plastic cover for your turn signal bulb. This right here is the plastic cover for your headlight bulb. And it'll be right here, right on the edge. But the only way to access that will be through your front tire. You can remove your tire for easy access or just turn your steering wheel all the way to the right. So you'll be available to access the cover that's up there. So now you grab your small screwdriver and you loosen up the screw here, which I already did. And you grab your hand and you pull it out. There's also some locking tabs here in the middle. So just pull it out. Next thing you're gonna have to stick your hand in there. You may wanna move this to the side. It's really small in here, so you gotta be careful. So once you grab it, just turn to the left and you just start pulling it out. And there it is. Now that the bulb is off, we're going to go and replace it for the LED bulbs that I brought from last fit. So we take it out of here. So you look for the two slot holes, this is where they're going to go. Push it in slightly and you turn and that's it. If it feels that it's not going in, turn it around and try it the other way. And then just go ahead and do everything backwards and put it back in. So as you notice, now that we install LED bulbs, now we get some hyper flash. That's because a little bit of current is going to the LED bulb and your car is telling you that your bulb is out. And that's why you get the hyper flash. So in order to eliminate that, we're going to install an LED resistor that I bought from eBay. And we're going to use the scotch lock to tap into our turn signal wire. Our turn signal wire is located on the headlight harness. It's going to be the first blue wire with a yellow stripe we're gonna go somewhere down here on the wire we're gonna take this off and look for that wire then on one end we're gonna tap into it with our resistor and the other end I'm gonna connect it to that screw that's down there that's gonna be our ground then after I apply some thermal paste to the bottom of the resistor I'm gonna screw it somewhere right here on the metal because it gets really really hot so don't put it on any plastic because it will burn up to locate your turn signal wire that you're going to be connecting to a resistor you need to locate your headlight harness which is located right next to your daylight plastic cover this is your headlight harness i already know your turn signal is going to be the very first top one which is blue with a yellow stripe on it but the best way to make sure is to get a voltmeter. This is a voltmeter. You set it up to 20 volts. You put the black probe to the negative ground. Then you come here. You 
plug your harness and you're going to test each one of those six pins with your rep probe. So if I come here. And I stick it there. You'll see it's a reading of zero. So if I connect it to the top middle one. You'll see I'll be getting a reading of a 14 constant. Most likely that's your daylight bulb, which is always on when you have the car on. Now you connect it to the top corner one, which I told you that's the turn signal. You'll see that the voltage goes up to 12, drops to 7, back up to 12. That's because your turn signal is on and it's flashing on and off. That's how you know, that's your turn signal. So, that's the top very corner one, which is the blue wire with a yellow stripe. That's the edge you're gonna be connecting your resistor to and the other edge to the negative brown or a bolt. Most likely that bolt. So one of the first things we did was remove the battery so we can have easier access to everything here. The second thing I did was loosen up this screw. This is where we're going to connect the wire from the resistor to the ground. Then I made this two holes so we could tighten up our resistor, hold it in place. And then I also I took up this electric tape. And I found the wire that we're going to be connecting to the turn signal wire, which is this one right here. So we get our scotch tap, and we're going to put it on the very first hole right here. This is where we're going to put our wire. Then we grab our resistor. Then on this side we put it on the other, the other hole which would be right here. Put it all the way in. And with this one, we're going to tighten this all the way down so it stays in place. Then we go ahead. Close it. So on this edge I strip down like an inch and we're gonna wrap it around our screws for the ground. It'll be right here. So once you have it wrapped up, you tighten this up and then you put thermal paste in the bottom and you hold it down with your two screws. It was probably hard to see when I was putting it on, but this is how it should look when you're finished. One side of the wire goes to your ground. The other side of the wire goes connected to your turn signal wire, which is the blue with orange stripe. You put on two screws that fit in your hole, thermal paste goes in the bottom, 
and after that pretty much is rewrap it again with electric tape and put your battery back on on the passenger side it can be the same process the only difference is that the color of the wire is different <coughs> it's going to be in the same location first one top one the only difference the color is red with an orange stripe so that'll be your turn signal but you could check it with a voltmeter and find a spot for it and that's pretty much it